This is George Martin for The Modern Cigar, and today I'm talking do's and don'ts of cigar lounge etiquette. All right, so as cigar lounges start to open up because the vaccine's being distributed and the pandemic is starting to clear, all right, whatever thought you just had in your mind, whether it's an agreement or, you know, this whole pandemic is planned, whatever, that leads me into the first thing. Keep your political opinions and your religious opinions to yourself especially if you're around strangers because nobody cares um i can't tell you how many times people i don't even know started telling me things like people are taking our jobs and shit and i don't care i disagree with you but i'm just gonna keep my mouth shut because it's not worth my time and it shouldn't be worth yours either so that's that's the first don't but instead you should get to know your common man because you probably wouldn't have met the people you frequent the cigar lounge at in other places but you all have one thing in common and that's enjoying cigars and just everything in between so keep the comments light talk about things that are like not controversial because you want to you want to be able to relate to people and unless you both agree on the same political things that's fine but otherwise there's no sense in talking about things that people don't care to talk about because it's personal Instead, talk about, you know, the cigar you're smoking, or um, your favorite foods, or places you've been, or just whatever, you know. Keep it simple, get to know people, because these relationships are, are pretty important. The next thing you shouldn't do is brag about your cigar, and how much it costs, and how fancy it is, because why are you going to do that? You just come off as a jerk. Nobody really wants to talk to people who are flashy and unnecessary and everything and I'm using this because there's so many so many loud bugs out there but anyways don't brag about your cigar if someone's like if you're that kind of person who's like what are you smoking is that a, a quorum what's that is that like two dollars smoking a twenty dollar padron no keep your mouth shut that's that's rude so that's really you know Really taboo, don't be talking about that. Don't be flaunting what you have. It's, it's unnecessary, really. Instead, this is not really an etiquette thing. This is more like, step out of your comfort zone a bit. Try cigars that you're not, you wouldn't ordinarily try. Like, if you're accustomed to, to the mild or medium cigars, jump out that a little bit. Maybe try something fuller, you know. Maybe you just, you're missing out. Maybe it's not for you and you like mild to medium cigars but you haven't given like a fuller bodied cigar a try it's worth giving it a shot because you expand your horizons you know if you like it you know if you don't like it um, but otherwise if you know you like a certain cigar and you try those cigars and they don't work for you that's fine i'm with you i don't care for these new novelty cigars with ridiculous bands and whatever flavor profiles that Really, they try to sell you on the packaging, but the cigar is as good as a cigar with a classic retro style band. Anyways, try new things, but smoke what you like. All right, another don't, and this is an absolute must. You must never break this faux pas. You must never disrespect a cigar lounge like this is by bringing your own cigars. That you should never do. That's rude to the business owner. That's rude really to the business owner and yeah they're running a business they're trying to sell you a cigar so you can smoke with it and unless i mean unless it's like a bar where you can bring your own cigar you can smoke what they provide if you're going to like a lounge buy what buy what they sell um, some places might have a flexible rule where like you can bring your own cigar but if you buy stuff from there then you're you're kind of counteracting because that this brings into a whole different topic of Cigars need to be acclimated in a proper environment and a lot of cigar lounges aren't just can't get that proper environment So you bring your own stuff, but you also buy stuff there You know that's up to the business owner him or herself however some places like You could buy a cigar from there Take it home. Let it acclimate a few weeks Bring it back the next time you're there and then buy something else and just just keep that cycle going that I think if I own a business Someone came in, brought a cigar they bought a couple weeks ago, and then bought a few more today. I'm okay with it, but just just sort of feel out the culture of the cigar store here, or the lounge you're smoking at. 
and just go about that. But please don't ever buy a cigar online and take it to the lounge. That's just rude. And for me, I believe you should support your local B&M. Uh, that's, the, that's the next do, is support your local, local store, especially during the economic hard time we've had lately, uh, the past year or so. I, unless I find a wicked deal, like a closeout deal online, if I'm buying a, a non-Cuban, I'm, I'm going to the store near me. I'm going to one of the two stores in the area. And depending on what I'm looking for, I'll buy it from there. One store is heavy on Padrones, other store is heavy on Ligas, uh, Drew Estate. It's really what I'm looking for, but always try to support your local BNM because local business is more important than supporting the big, super uh, retailers out there. But I'm, an, I'm a rational man. I'm just like the next guy. Wicked deals are wicked deals. So if you find something that retails for like 140 a box and you can find them for like 80 or 70 online, buy it. That, that's different. Dude. Nobody can match these dudes. But if you're just looking to fill up a humidor with like 10, 10 cigars or so, go to your local store, see what they have, pick up a few things. Everybody wins. All right. So this one, this one is something you shouldn't do because you're just a D-bag if you do this. And that's blowing smoke in people's face. I understand it's hard to control where, you know, you take your puff and if there's any sort of draft or the doors open so the breeze is blowing smoke in uncontrollable directions we get it you know if you if someone puffs their smoke that way and somehow it ends up here i'm not i'm not fit but you do you go that's rude eh, you shouldn't be doing that all right and here's a pro tip for cigar lounge uh frequency is befriend your tobacconist they're more than just a tobacconist. They're more than just customer service or helping you pick out a cigar. They're, they're there for you. They're there to give you guidance, but they're also there because you can, you can befriend them. You know, you can get to know them. And I recommend you get to know them because you never know what kind of bond you could build just by speaking to people, which brings us to the, like the first ish tip is get to know people and you know, Get to know everybody because you never know what kind of tips they could give you like let's say because i I'm, I'm i'm good buds with the guy who runs the cigar store near me and if there's a limited release that comes in and it's something that he knows i like and i know i like he'll be like if you want some get them now because there's probably a guy coming in later today who's going to buy the whole thing and I know it's more than just a salesman tactic because the next day it'll be gone. So, yeah, befriend them. They'll help you out. Help them out. It's, it's a win-win, really. So that's been my sort of overall general ideas of Cigar Lounge Etiquette. If there's anything I missed that you personally get upset when people do or you see people do it and, you know, it just drives you bonkers or there are things that could help them have a better cigar lounge experience please comment down below because i'd like to know um helps me helps readers helps yourselves go ahead and leave that comment if you like the video thumbs up if you uh like the video a lot subscribe because that way you don't miss out on great cigar content and i'm unbiased over here not sponsored by anybody so i say whatever i want and nobody gets pissed so thank you it's been the modern cigar and i'll see you next time